Hi, this tutorial will demonstrate how to use the JD Edwards form extensibility framework to add a new form exit and row exit on a form. You will also learn how to associate a form interconnection with the newly added menu exits. With this capability, which is available starting with tools release 9.2.4.4, citizen developers can create new exits to other forms and leverage the form interconnection capability to pass data in the forms that are called. To use this functionality, you must ensure that feature security is enabled for the form extension user defined object. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll create a new row exit on the work which addresses form W01012B. Later, we'll associate a form interconnection with the row exit and see how we can access the address book revision form W01012A by using the new row exit. Let's get started by accessing the form extension manager side panel. First, let's create a new menu exit. We'll use this button to create a new exit. You can use the form tab to create a form exit and the row tab to create a row exit. For our tutorial, we'll create a row exit. We'll enter a new name for the row exit. We want to use this exit later to access the address book revision form W01012A of the address book application P01012. Next, we'll associate a form interconnection with the row exit so that we can access the address book revision form from the exit. We'll use this wizard to associate the form interconnection with the exit. This wizard contains steps that you must complete in a sequential order. In the first step, we'll define the application and the form that will be called from the row exit. Let's enter P01012. You may recall that we want to access the address book application or P01012 from this row exit. As an alternative, you can use the visual assist to search for and select the application. We want to access the address book revision form or W01012A. Let's select the application version. You can use these display mode options to define the type of form interconnection you want to use for the exit. For our row exit, we'll use the modeless option. Let's proceed to the next step. In this step, we'll define the data that will be passed as inputs to the address book revision form that is called from the row exit. These are the data items included in the data structure of the target form, which in our case is the address book revision form. Let's define the mapping inputs for some of the data items. Let's save this configuration. We'll save this form extension. Next, we'll test the row exit that we just created. You can see the new row exit on the menu. Let's click the new exit. You can see that the form that was configured to be called from the row exit is now displayed. You may also recall that these were the mapping inputs that were configured to be passed to the form. To summarize, you can create new menu exits from an enterprise one form easily by using form extensibility. Use these additional resources to learn more about form extensibility. You can also visit us at learnjde.com. Thanks for watching.